We need to learn a little bit more about this bass fishing. We can't even tell the difference between a bluegill and a bass. <laughs> We're getting old, Roland. Shake it! Whatever you throw, it's got a fish hanging on it. Oh, and a big fish! Rising with the morning sun, I got no work today. I'd find me up on the bayou, or over in the ocean bay. I'd be fishing on a mountain stream, or a lake down in Tennessee. That's a pair to draw to Might as well head. grab your fishing pole, come and go along with me. Right up there and ate that thing so gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm fishing today with a buddy of mine from Goshen in Ohio, Bill Eppards. Bill is a tremendous bow shot. Bill and I have bow hunted all over the world, as a matter of fact, several different countries. And Bill is the uh, two time now national team champion archer. And the only time really that he goes fishing very much. That's what we're after, Bill. Yeah, that's called a nice my largemouth bass. <laughs> That's a dandy. <laughs> it's when he goes fishing with me. And uh, and I tell you, that's a good way to start right there. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at here. This fish has been caught before. That's catch and release. That's why. I, and I'm not going to give that fish a, any sugar because sometimes they got a little sore on their mouth. You see them disappear into that? This is where the fish are. They're down under this, this grass right here. And uh, they've got to come up out of that grass. And you know, a fast moving bait or a bait that gets down on the bottom really doesn't attract them too much. Now sometimes you can take a, a heavy slip sinker and fish down through it, but your best deal this time of the year, because the fish are wanting to get really, really, really shallow, is to get something that that will just be a real subtle approach to catching them. Chicken wings, chicken wings, hot dogs and bologna, chicken and macaroni, fishing with my old homie. You got a fish? I, I don't think so. Just a log? Yeah, yeah, I think I do, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it is a fish. <laughs> he took me in that, he took me in that. Uh, <laughs> Got a fish? No, just grass. Looks took, like a fish to me, Bill. He took me in that you log. You can probably lift, don't wind it too far up to your rod tip. You, okay. That size, you might be able to lift it okay on that eight pound test line. Just go ahead and lift it in, but now, you know, you can't lift a very heavy one in on eight pound test line. Don't you fall in, because I don't know if I'm strong enough to get you out. <laughs> You'll be strong enough. There you go. There you go. Well, that's my, my first one. They all count one. Oh, there's one. I got him. It's a little boy. Yours is small. Mine is tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Catch all sizes on that the fishing this way, I, I guarantee you. So oh, that's a big fish. <laughs> Kiss that one for sure. Main thing when you fix your worm is make sure you got a good That's straight. That's right. Good thing we're not turkey hunting today. Them turkeys have to be staked down. Man, <laughs> you're right. They would be. Definitely have to be staked down. There he is. Come here, baby. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a nice one. That fish hit it as soon as it hit the water. Uh. <laughs> Wild guy there, here he comes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come here puppy doll. Whoa, whoa. Now I got on 14 pound test line, Bill, and one of the advantages of having 14 pound test lines, a fish like that, you just lift over the side, put your thumb in his mouth, and you got him. Here, baby. Here, baby doll. Bye, right, sugar booger. You let it sugar booger you. I seen that fish pucker up there. <laughs> he wanted some of you. This portion of Jimmy Houston Outdoors has been brought to you by Mercury Marine.